Hello everyone, this is Apostle Deanna Dixon. It's been a minute. Um, this is really an audio, but I'm letting you actually look at my book, but it's not even about a book. Praise God, praise God. Go ahead and tag and share. Let me know that you can hear me and um, you can't see me on purpose, but um, God was just telling me, and if you could look at my title, then you would see what it says. It's like... Um, Praise God, praise God. It's pretty much the church is waxing cold, God was saying. We have to find the love again, people. Um, I haven't been on here on purpose because I've been just spending time with God and actually allowing God to feed me. And and I think that's the problem. You know, we as church people, oh, I don't even like to say church people. Come on, somebody, the church. We are the church. Church is not a building. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I think that's the problem. We have allowed the church to become like the world and now the world is hurting and the church can't help the world because the church is hurting come on somebody hallelujah and it ain't just about no church hurt this is about spirits point blank in the story you have allowed things to come in your spirit and you have not addressed it come on somebody hallelujah that's what's really going on i'm looking at everything come on somebody sometimes you got to look back step back get back come on somebody hallelujah because when you're in it you can't really see it but when you step back and god give you a spirit of wisdom and discernment i promise you you will understand everything that's going on in your life there will be a clarity there will be an understanding there will be a spirit of calmness there will be a spirit of meekness there'll be a spirit of truth come on somebody hallelujah and the truth is the church didn't lost their mind i'm gonna tell you that's the truth everybody will want money everybody want honey everybody acting funny everybody want to be a gangster let me tell you something when we was back in them streets when we was back in the, that world when we was doing what we was doing that was okay because that's what who we were but when we come into the kingdom of god you better act like it talk like it walk like it be like it and quit fronting come on somebody hallelujah if you still call yourself a thug in the church then you are not part of the church if you call yourself cussing out people, you are not saved. If you acting a fool all the time, you're not saved. I don't care how much you sing. I don't care how much you preach. I don't care how much you teach. I don't care. And that's what's wrong. We've gotten to a point where we don't care. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And God is not pleased. That's why the church ain't got no power. Because y'all don't want nobody to tell y'all something. That's number one. Number two, everybody want to tell somebody the piece of their mind. You ain't got no mind. You got two kingdoms and two spirits you're dealing with. Either you're under the spirit of God or you're under the spirit of the devil. So what's one you're working with for real when you tell somebody a piece of your mind, what you won't have, by the way? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what does said the Lord. We got to find the love again. We got to come back to the oracles of God. We're wondering why those children then, then lost their mind. Let's just be real. That's because the church have not been the church in years. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Everybody want a platform. And I'm going to tell you another thing. You know why I backed up from this social media? Because I'm not going to lie. It can be a very good tool, but it's the tool of the devil. I don't care what nobody say. Because guess what? When people dying, y'all will take our phones. When people fighting, y'all will take our phones. When people hurting, y'all take our phones. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Social media got y'all losing y'all mind. Everybody want to be famous. Everybody want to be great. But ain't nobody want to be anointed. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Where's the anointing? Where's the spirit of God? Where's the spirit of love? Where's the spirit of compassion? talking about we the church no 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 the church has to get cleansed the church is tainted that's what's going on and i backed up from it just just to really let god speak to me and and this is what he's telling me i'm coming back a whole new person i'm gonna tell you that right now and i'm focusing mostly on our youth because half of y'all adults y'all gone and what i mean by that is y'all gonna do what y'all want to do how y'all want to do it when you want to do it and why you want to do it and lie and says god but those youth they don't even have a fighting chance because here's the deal each each generation is supposed to get wiser. Each, tr- each generation is supposed to leave the next generation some wisdom. Can I tell you something? Some of y'all old people acting a fool so the young people don't have half a chance. Oh, I'm just going to call it like it is. Some of you want to, you're 50, you want to be 30 showing your 50 breasts. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I ain't finished. Then some of y'all want to be a cougar, a jaguar, and a Bentley. Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Instead of dating somebody your age, oh, I'm going to tell it on here today. And then some of you men ain't right either. In the church wearing shades, trying to talk to these young girls. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm going to tell it all right here today to right now. It's like pimps in the church. It's like a whole whole house. 
And y'all wonder why those children don't respect us. Y'all wonder why they're killing each other. Because they see, instead of us teaching them, somehow their generation is teaching y'all. I'm going to say y'all because I ain't in that. Because I'm not going backwards. Because ain't nothing changed just, just, just a year. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. Everything that we didn't did 30, 40, 50 years ago, they just doing it on a different level. And a level of disrespect, if truth be told. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. God is not pleased. God is not pleased. God is not pleased. I'm not telling you what Deanna said. I'm telling you what God said. And until we repent as a whole, I'm talking about everybody. We will not see the blessings the way we're supposed to see them. And hold on, because y'all think blessings are just materialistic. Some of y'all running after money, running after men, running after women, just running, 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 run, wondering why you're tired, wondering why you're sick and tired, because guess what? You ain't sat down and let God speak to you. And that's just the truth right there. Because if God ain't speaking, who is? Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Let's keep it simple. Let's keep it simple. If God is not speaking in your spirit, then I wonder who is. Because as you don't want to actually realize, it's only two kingdoms and two spirits. The Antichrist and God. And you're listening to one of them. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Ain't no in-between. Ain't no we are the word. The devil is a lie. The devil is a lie. I say the devil is a lie. Either you are under the, con the control of God, under the control of Satan. There is no in-between. Sorry. I'm telling you right now, we better catch a clue. We better catch a clue. And then everybody want to be a famous star. Can I tell you something? Ain't nobody famous. Because we all fall short of the glory of God. We all flesh and flesh is a mess. Truth be told, there's only one. That's only one. And that's Jesus the Christ. That was sinless. That was perfect. Everybody else, guess what? Get a fail. Me too. Hallelujah. We better come back to God. We got to come back to God all the way, not halfway. So I'm coming back on here. I'm going to start doing lives and I'm going to start telling y'all know I'm going to tell the truth. I really don't care. Y'all know I don't care. I'm trying to get to heaven because while y'all sitting up there playing, hell has broadened. While y'all sitting up there playing, evil is rising. While y'all sitting up there playing, the devil is planning so many things for Christians and Christians don't have the power to defeat it at this time. That's the only reason God holding back because God said they're not ready. They're not ready. They're not ready. But that stuff coming ready or not. All right. God bless you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who you are.